New tonight, questions from the state's largest police union over the handling of a high profile case. David Schumann spoke to the Hennepin County attorney about why she dropped charges against a suspect in a police chase that killed an innocent driver. A step in the wrong direction from justice, so says the family of Laniel Frazier. Frazier was killed in 2021 when former Minneapolis police officer Brian Cummings crashed into his car during a high-speed chase. Cummings was going after a stolen Kia, and the man set to begin trial Monday for driving that Kia instead had his charges dropped last week. Right now, we don't have proof beyond a reasonable doubt that he was the driver or even in the car. James Jones Drain had been facing three felonies related to the chase. Why charge in the first place if you, if you didn't know if he was even in the car? We thought we did have proof beyond a reasonable doubt, but as the investigation has gone on, uh, we just don't have enough evidence right now. We asked what changed, but Hennepin County Attorney Mary Moriarty wouldn't give specifics, saying the case is still open. She says instead of risking acquittal, she'd rather be able to recharge Jones Drain in the future. Cummings, the former cop who hit Laniel Frazier, is serving a nine-month sentence in the workhouse for criminal vehicular homicide. It's difficult, I think, for the family and for the officers to see that Officer Cummings, through court, um, accepted responsibility uh, and pled guilty. Uh, and now we don't have that same on the other side. In a statement, Cummings' attorney said in part, Minneapolis is a better place to be a criminal than a law enforcement officer. Frazier's family said they're, quote, deeply disappointed. In Minneapolis, David Schumann, WCCO News. Just because Jones Train had these charges dropped doesn't mean he is free to go. He is currently in custody facing a dozen pending cases, most of which are for robberies.